So hello and welcome back. What we will do in this video, we will talk about some concrete rules about the about the the Roman numeral system. And um, basically, the 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 essentially the Roman numerals in 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 essentially the Roman or essentially we could say that the we could say that essentially that numerals used in the in the no in the in the Roman numeral system used essentially that are used basically used currently used as essentially current standards are essentially only a few so there is only these are essentially the only characters that are used today in the used essentially in order to write essentially numbers in in roman which is essentially and these essentially all are um, letters that are taken from the they, they are borrowed from the from the from the latin alphabet these are all from taken from the latin alphabet so these are essentially i which which essentially whose integer value would be a one there is a v whose integer value is a five there is the x whose integer value is a 10 there is the l whose integer value is a 50 there is the c whose integer value is a hundred there is the d which whose integer value is a 500 and there is the m whose integer value is a thousand okay so these are these are essentially the only the only characters that are used today in for writing basic the romans uh, numbers in, in 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 roman numerals the rest have been essentially deprecated so you cannot you don't use them anymore in the past they might have been used but then now today essentially they, you're not using them anymore now you can of course put these together in order to make numbers in 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 roman numerals and of course a that essentially the roman numeral system is an additive is an additive and subtractive is an additive and subtractive system meaning you add and subtract essentially all of these different characters basically you add and subtract in order to make essentially in order to make numbers in 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 in, in roman numeral and so essentially if you were to go for example all the way up to 10 you would write for example a one would be just a one that is basically a one to write a two you would put essentially two of these together so that would be essentially a two although uh, essentially technically you should write the number as a one and followed by a one but then for the sake of essentially to make the writing easier you would just put these two bars and then put them together that becomes a two right then basically what happens is that to write a three you put three of these together so one two three and then that becomes a three now a four you might think that you would put four of these together but that's not that that used to be used used to be done in the past but they, you don't do that anymore that's not standard anymore so so far essentially we have been adding now you have to subtract to get a five and the five in roman is the same as essentially a four minus a one so a four minus a one that means that excuse me a five would be excuse me a four would be a five minus a one meaning you write the five which is essentially this 
5 over here and then you have to subtract the 1 from it meaning that you put the 1 on the left hand side that essentially becomes a, a 4 so the, the, the essentially if you put if, if you essentially use these two characters in this manner you have a 4 and then you have essentially for a 5 you would use the exact 5 over here that's basically a 5 which I mean technically you have to write it of course this way but then in writing it's easier to write it just put the bar on the top and on the bottom a 6 again you have to add meaning that the 6 is the same as a 5 plus a 1 so you write your 5 and the 1 because you want it to be added you put it on the right hand side and put them together so then this would be essentially a 6 a 7 again would be a 5 and two ones. that's a 7 an 8 would be a 5 and three ones. And so that's an 8. But then again, you see in an 8, you have a 5, 1, 2, 3, 1s successively, right? So then you would, you might think that again, to write a 9, you would put a 5, and then 1, 2, 3, 4 of these 1s together. But then there is a rule that essentially based on which you're not supposed to repeat any it's essentially any of these characters more than three times meaning that the highest number of times that the character like you want for example can be repeated successively one after the other would be only three more than three you cannot you cannot do that so this is not possible so again for a nine you have to subtract meaning a nine would be essentially a ten minus a one so i write a ten and I put the 1 on the left hand side so that it is subtracted from the 10. So then a 10, a 9 would be essentially this way. And then a 10, and then a 10 would be of course just a 10. So that's a, that's basically a 10, which is actually an X. So you have to write it, technically you have to write it this way, basically. But that's not easy to write, so... You can easily write it, you can simply write it this way. So that is a 10. And 11 would be a 10, would be a 10 plus 1. So then essentially a 10 would be a 10. And since you want the 1 to be added to the 10, you put it on the right hand side. So that essentially becomes an 11. So that is an 11. A 12 would be a 10 with two ones. So that's a 12. A 13, for example, would be a 10 with three ones. That would be a 13. And so on and so forth. Okay. But so far, essentially, so, so that, that is, um, that essentially you keep doing the same thing. <clears throat> for example, a 15 would be, you keep, for example, a 14, for example, would be a 15 minus 1 subtraction. Because you cannot put four of these ones essentially one after the other. So, and then, for example, a 15 would be a 10 plus a 5. So a 10 plus a 5 would be a 10 plus a 5. That would be, for example, a 15. A 16 would be again a 15 plus 1, a 17, 15 plus 1 plus 1. 18 would be 15 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. A 19 would be a 20 minus 1. And then a 20 would be essentially two tens, right? So 10 plus 10 is a 20. And then a 21 would be a 20 plus a 1, meaning that a 20 plus a 1 that's a 21 a 22 would be a 20 plus a 2 meaning a 20 plus a 1 plus a 1 meaning a 20 plus a 1 plus a 1 that's a 22 and you keep going like that right so then um, 
Now the rules that the 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 the, 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 the concrete rules that you need to take into consideration so that essentially the number is correct based on the current standards of the based on the current standards of the Roman numeral system because there have been many standards over the years it's been a long time 2000 years give or take the system has essentially kept changing and changing over time but now today essentially if you want to use the system these are the rules that you are supposed to essentially um that, that that you need to take into consideration now in this system essentially since it's an additive system if essentially a symbol is repeated of course it's not possible to repeat anything that you want any number of times but as long as you're you're allowed to repeat something if something is repeated its value is added as many times as it occurs for example you know for example you know a one so this is a one so if a one is repeated twice meaning it, it has occurred twice that means essentially a one plus a one which is equal to two so the values of the two ones are added together right as many times as it as it's repeated meaning a one plus a one a one essentially three times that would be essentially a 1 plus a 1 plus a 1 which is equal to 3 right so but then of course you know that you are not supposed to to essentially to write for example a 1 and a 1 and a 1 and a 1 four times this doesn't this doesn't work because based on the same rules essentially you're not supposed to do that but as long as you're you can actually put things together then the values are added together now the second rule that is the second rule that you need to take into consideration is that a symbol is not repeated more than three times the same thing that the same thing that we mentioned before any symbol for example if a one it's you're not supposed to repeat it more than three times the the limit is three times or any other symbol essentially some symbols you cannot even repeat even you cannot even repeat for the second time they they can occur only once but if there is any symbol for example like a one that you can repeat for example once twice th thrice and so on and so forth that symbol is not supposed to be repeated more than three times meaning that it's not supposed to occur more than three times right which means that um and then the symbols and then the symbols that are not essentially that are never repeated these are the symbols that you're not uh, that you're not supposed to repeat at all these are never repeated so the symbols that you're not supposed to repeat at all are the v which is the 5 and there is the l which is and the L which is a 50 so the L which is a 50 you're not supposed to repeat this meaning that the only number of times that it that it can occur is only once and there is the D which is a 500 you cannot repeat this you cannot you cannot repeat these three but then any other symbol that you can repeat is you cannot repeat it more than three times or essentially you cannot they cannot occur more than three times now the this this was the second rule now the third rule is that so this is rule number three the third rule is that if a symbol of a smaller value is written to the right of a symbol of greater value its value gets added to the value of the greater symbol what that means i repeat this if essentially if you have a symbol for example like a one and you have a symbol like a this is an i which is which is essentially a one and you have another symbol for example a five now if if this one essentially you know that of course a one is less than a five right 
so the the values are of course one one is greater than the other now if you write the one so if you have the five over here if you write the one on the right hand side of the of the of the of the of the character which has the greater value then the value of this numeral is added to the value of this numeral of the greater value right so i repeat this suppose that you have the five and the one the five is of greater value if you write the one which has which is of smaller value to the right hand side of the of the one with the greater value the value of the numeral with the smaller value is added to the value of the numeral with the greater value which means that this becomes a five and the one is added to it which makes a six okay and the same goes for for example a i don't know a for example you want to write a 505 a 505 for example you go for it for the 500 which is essentially a d that's a 500 and the 5 is basically that is a 5 so now if you write now if you want to yeah of course you have to use these two in order to write a 505 so then you you write your 500 which is a d and then because you want this 5 to be added to the value of 500 you put it on the right hand side which means that this essentially means a 505 whereas if you write your d which is essentially 500 and put the v on the left hand side then the value of v is which is of course of a smaller value the value of v, of v is going to be subtracted from the value of d which means that this is nothing but 500 minus for example minus 5 which is the same thing as um, 495 which is 495 now as a rule essentially this is okay meaning that essentially if you put any if you put essentially some numeral on the left hand side the value of that numeral is supposed to be subtracted that's that's there is no problem with that but then this is actually not possible in the in the roman numeral system because there is another rule that tells us that essentially the the value of the values of v d and l are never subtracted are never subtracted well, of course we will get to that but i just wanted to point out to the fact that essentially um I just wanted to point out to the to the subtraction rule and also to this rule that says that basically whether you have a v or a d or an l these values are never are never supposed to be on the left hand side meaning that they are never supposed to be essentially subtracted okay okay now the next rule that we have here is is essentially is about subtraction meaning that and the rule is that if basically um, and the rule is that if a symbol of smaller value is written to the left of, left of a symbol of greater value that's just what we talked about its value is subtracted from the value of the greater symbol so again if a symbol of smaller value is written on the left of a symbol of greater value its value is subtracted from the value of the greater value which means that basically for example let's say that you have a one and you have a five so this is the greater value this is the this is the smaller value if i have the greater value here and if i write the smaller value on the left hand side of the on the left hand left hand side of the greater value the value of this symbol is essentially subtracted from the value of the greater value which means that this becomes essentially a 5 minus 1 which is the same thing as 4 or for example a, an x if which is a 10 if i put a 1 over here on the left hand side this becomes a 10 
minus a 1 which is the same thing as 9 or for example the or for example an L which is a 50 if I put an X and on the left hand side the X is a 10 so then the, the, the value of X is going to be subtracted from the value of L which means that this is the same thing as 50 minus 10 which is the same thing as 40 right or essentially or essentially then for example the if I have a, a C which is a hundred if I put an X over here which is a 10 then this becomes a hundred minus a 10 which is a 90 right but then again you have to be careful here because of the fact that because of the fact that essentially V L and D you are never going to subtract these essentially in any under any circumstances are you allowed to subtract these meaning that the V or the L or the D it's not supposed to be written on the left hand side meaning that it's not supposed to be subtracted but of course X you can subtract there is no problem meaning 10 you can subtract from um, from anything whenever the, the situation is right but a V which is essentially a 5 you cannot subtract from anything or essentially an, an L which is a 50 you cannot subtract from anything or a D which is a 500 you cannot subtract from anything that's just not not allowed based on the, the rules of the system which essentially brings us to the to rule E which is essentially the symbols V uh, essentially L and D are never written to the left of a of a of a symbol of greater value that means that essentially V L and D are never never subtracted these are basically never subtracted right these are never subtracted and and then there is there is another part to this rule which is essentially the symbol i can be subtracted from can be subtracted from subtracted from v and x only so essentially <clears throat> so essentially a the v essentially is a five if you subtract the one you you the remainder is essentially what remains is a four or for example an x so basically the x if you put the one over here that becomes essentially 10 minus one which is a nine and so essentially as a rule then we can we can say that essentially one can be subtracted only from a 10 and from a 5 not from um, not from basically um, of course you, you you're not supposed to you, you you cannot if you put these two together this means addition that is essentially one plus a one right meaning that you cannot say that essentially you would not think that basically that because this one is on the left hand side the value is going to be subtracted from this one which would be essentially one minus one which is equal to zero that's not the case that that's a two essentially right then um, uh, basically one if you you cannot you cannot essentially put a 50 which is l and put a one over here and then that would be for example excuse me if you have a if you have an L which is essentially a 50 and put a 1 over here you would think that you might think that essentially that's 50 minus 1 which is the same thing as 49 but that's 49 but that's not the case so you're not supposed to do that meaning that one is supposed to be can be essentially subtracted only from this or this meaning that this is not allowed or essentially for example a hundred which is for example a 
um, SC, you cannot write this and expect it to be a 100 minus 1, which is 99. That's not the case. You cannot do that. Or essentially by the same logic, for example, the 500, you cannot put a 1 over here and think it to be a 499. That doesn't work. Or essentially an M, which is a 1,000, you cannot put a 1 over here and write it as a as a thousand minus one which is 999 that doesn't work right the only possibilities that there are is essentially the x minus a one or the v minus a one which is this would be a 10 minus one which is a nine and this would be five minus one which is equal to four so that's the only possibilities okay and then there is um and then there is another rule over here. And then there is another rule over here which says that that is part, um, that is another part of the same rule which says that the symbol x, the symbol x can be subtracted from, can be subtracted from L, M, and C only. L, M, and C only, right? So, let's say that you have a V. Of course, you cannot put an, put an X over here because essentially a V is a 5 and X essentially is a 10. So, it's, it's, it's a greater value from the very beginning. Essentially, you cannot put it on the left-hand side to subtract. doesn't make any sense because then you would end up with a negative number so that doesn't work right so and then of course if you have a one over here and then if you put a v over here excuse me if you put an x over here then of course this is already the greater value and then this is added to this so this would be nothing but a 10 plus a 1 which is equal to 11 right so this is, this is this is still not about subtraction then basically what happens is that suppose that you have an x and then you put an x on the left hand side these are of the exact same values so the values are still added together so that's 10 plus 10 which is which is the same thing as 20 right so this is still not about subtraction now let's say that you have a you have an L and you put an X over here. So the N is nothing but a 50. So that is 50 minus a 10, which is the same thing as 40. So that's possible. There is no problem with that because the rule over here also also said that basically X can be subtracted from L, M and C only. Or let's say that, or let's say that you have a you have an M which is a uh, which is essentially a a thousand, or essentially let's say that you have a C, which is basically a um, you have a C which is a hundred. So let's say that you have a C which is a hundred. So a C is a hundred, like. And if I put an x over here to subtract from this, the x is a 10. So that's the same thing as 100 minus, minus 10, which is the same thing as 90. And then the rule says that essentially x can be subtracted from, from c. There is no problem this, with this. So 90, you can write it actually this way. Now, suppose that you have a D, for example, and put an X over here. The D is essentially a 500 minus a 10. That is essentially 490, but you cannot do this because the rule essentially states that, states that essentially the X can be subtracted only from L, M, and C, but D is not there. So, so this you cannot do. And let's say that, for example, you have an M, you put an X over here, the M is a thousand minus a 10, which is essentially 990. That is possible. 
because essentially the rule says that basically x can be subtracted from an m right from an m which is a thousand thousand minus one is equal to nine nine hundred ninety so that is these are the rules that you need to take into consideration okay now let's take a couple of uh, examples or essentially let's write down a couple of numbers okay so now in order to write a couple of numbers let's take let's take these examples meaning that essentially the rules that we that we talked about if you follow them these are essentially some examples that you can use for example as we mentioned before a one is just a one right a two would be two ones so that's a two a three would be for example three ones put together so that's a three meaning meaning essentially a one plus a one plus a one this is a one plus a one which is a two right um and a four would be uh, you might you might want to call it essentially a one plus a one plus a one plus a one which would be essentially one two three four of these together but that doesn't work because you cannot repeat essentially the symbol more than three times meaning that the symbol cannot occur more than three times so then you have to you cannot add anymore you have to subtract subtracting a 4 would be the same thing as 5 minus 1 which is a 5 and put the 1 on the left hand side so that it's subtracted and then it becomes essentially a 4 if you have the 5 and put the 1 on the right hand side then it becomes basically a 5 plus a 1 meaning that it becomes it gets added not subtracted which is a 6 right so you have to be careful about that so a 4 would be a 5 minus 1. A 5 would be just a 5, right? A 6 would be the 5 plus a 1, the 1 on the right hand side. So that's 5 plus a 1, which is equal to 6. The Essentially a 7 would be... <coughs> a 7 would be a 5 plus a 1 plus a 1 both the ones on the right hand side so that's a 5 plus a 1 plus a 1 which is the same thing as a 7 and 8 would be 5 plus a 1 plus a 1 plus a 1 three times which is 5 plus a 1 plus a 1 plus a 1 which is an 8 a 9 would be a 5 plus four ones which is not possible because the one can occur only three times only up to, to up to three times so then a ten and nine for example you could write it as a as a as, as a ten minus one which is a nine so a ten would be an x minus one one on the left hand side that is an that is a nine a ten would be for the a ten of course is a ten so that's a ten an 11, for example, would be a 10 and a 1. That's an 11. A 12 would be a 10 and, a, and two ones. So that's a 12 and so on and so forth. Right? So then you can keep going with this until you get to, to a 20. So a 20 would be 10 plus a 10. So a 10 and a 10. That is a 10 plus a 10, which is equal to 20. A 30 would be a 10 and a 10 and a 10. So that's a 10 plus a 10 plus a 10, which is equal to 30, right? A 40 would be, of course, four tens, which is not possible because the same symbol can occur only up to three times. So a 40 would be a 50 minus one. So a 50 essentially, a 50 is is essentially is an L, excuse me, 50 minus 10, right? A 50 is an L, and then if you put an X over here to subtract, of course, you're not supposed to do this, so essentially a 50 would be an L, and put an X over here so that the 10 is subtracted, 
this is a 50 minus 10 which is equal to 40 right and then again then you get to essentially you get to 50 which is of course which is of course a an l itself so that's a 50 then you get to 60 a 60 would be a 50 plus a 10 so a 50 plus a 10 that's a 50 plus a 10 which is equal to 60 so a 70 would be 50 plus a 10 plus a 10 so a 50 plus a 10 plus a 10 is equal to 7 80 would be for example a 50 plus a 10 plus a 10 plus a 10 which is equal to 80 right and 90 of course you cannot you have already reached the three times so you have to now subtract so a 90 you can write it as a hundred minus a 10 so a hundred is the same thing as a c right and then subtract a 10 which is xc and of course a hundred itself is just a c so that's a it's a hundred right so that's uh, that's all about that's all about these examples now let's let's take another example over here let's say that we want to write essentially these these numbers in roman numerals and the numbers are 73 and 92 okay so now about the number 73 which is by the way the number that is used in morse code to say uh, uh, goodbye meaning that the message is over so that's 73 in Morse code um, so 73 essentially if you want to write the number in Roman numerals that is essentially a 70 plus a 3 right and the 70 is the same as um, the 70 is the same as essentially 50 plus 20 right 50 plus 20 and then there is the 3 as well right and for the 50 we have basically we have the we have the l so l is the 50 for the 20 you can use essentially two tenths you have essentially the x which is which is a 10 so you can you can use two tens over here and for the three you can use three of these ones basically that's a one so i can write a 50 which is which is an l a 20 which is essentially two of these x's that's a that's a essentially a 50 plus a 10 plus a 10 that's a 70 and that and then a three would be one two and three so that's essentially that's essentially 73 now you can always if you're not sure about your numbers you can always um, basically use a calculator for example one one website on which you can use all you can find almost all kinds of calculators is the is the calculator soup and if you write here of course you have to search for the the the, the, the calculator you're looking for if, now if you write a 73 over here and if you calculate you see that essentially you have a 50 plus two tens plus a plus three ones that's a 73 right now in the case of for example 92 a 92 is the same as so a 90 is the same as you could say that a 90 is the same as um, 50 plus 40 of course we don't have a 40 but we have already the 50 which is an l the 40 would be for example four tens meaning four of these tens but then four of tens we cannot put together we can go all the way up to three tens so we have to subtract so to subtract i will have to say a hundred minus a ten is a ninety right 
and then add two to that so that you get a, a 92 right so then a hundred is the same as um, a C right a hundred is the same as a C that's a hundred subtract the 10 add two so the two essentially I put the twos over here so that's a 92 right and again if I use my calculator if I have essentially <coughs> 92 you see a a hundred minus a 10 plus a 2 that's a 92 <clears throat> and um, that's essentially all about that and then let's take two other numbers two more numbers of these of these ex essentially two more examples let's say that you have a 69 so a 69 essentially you can think of 60 as a as a um, 50 plus 10 a 60 you can think of it as a 50 plus 10 and a 9 is the same as you could say that it's 5 plus 4 uh, but then essentially a 4 would be 4 of these ones which is not possible so I have to subtract so then a 9 I'm going to, to call it essentially 10 minus 1 right now if 50 is the same as is the same as an L so an L is a 50 and of course a 10 would be an X and of course then a 10 would be the same x and then the one would be essentially this symbol over here so first i have to take care of my 60. the 60 would be 50 plus a 10. so a 50 plus a 10 meaning the 10 is on the right hand side and then i have to i have to to make an to make a 9 which is essentially an x minus a one one on the on the on the left hand side so then the number essentially becomes the number essentially then you have to put these two together then l x i x that is basically a 69 that is a 69 and if you take a look at your calculator a 69 would be LXIX, right? Now, the next number is another example, would be, for example, a 98. Now, a 90, you could think of it as basically a, a essentially a 50 plus a 40. A 50 is not a problem, which is essentially a 50 is an L right but then a 40 would be essentially um, essentially a 10 would be an x so that would be four of these x's which is not possible you cannot put four of those signs together so you have to subtract so i'm going to write the 90 as essentially 100 minus 10 that's possible which means that then i'm going to write essentially 100 which is a c that's 100 and a 10 would be an X. So this, this, this part is taken care of. The 8 is, essentially the 8 is simple. The 8 is a 5 plus a 3. A 5 essentially is nothing but a 5. That's a 5. And a 3 would be 3 of these ones. Right? So then the 90 would be essentially the, essentially 100, which is a C, minus a 10 which means that the x goes on the left hand side that's the 90 and the 8 would be a 5 plus 3 of these these ones so that's that's 3 of these ones that's a that's essentially an 8 now i have to put these two together putting these two together i have x c v i i i so that is uh, basically 98 right <clears throat> and now that that you see how essentially 
messy really it is to write down these numbers I mean it's not I mean even if you don't want to call it messy or anything it's not really easy to work with this system and uh, moreover um, now this is only this that these numbers essentially go all the way up to 3999 if the number is larger than this number then of course then you have to follow the rest of the system and then it becomes really you have to mirror things put essentially a c over here and then put one a one over here put a c in the other direction and so on so it, it's it's not very really easy to 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 use the system okay now in 98 would be xcv and three ones xcv and three ones which is basically correct so that's that's essentially all that we have in in this chapter hopefully um, all the videos that we did for this chapter are going to be um, useful fun and um, informative uh, I'll see you with the next chapter. Thank you.